it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. So I have a terrible tendency to start like these fun series and then kind of fizzle out but at some point I am going to sit down and go through my YouTube channel and figure out which series I started and haven't finished but until then I'm starting a new series. Sorry. is kind of gonna gonna be um like an extended bookshelf tour but you'll also see the books that I've read in my own collection which is not many sadly but I do like wanna I I want to do it so I thought it'd be super fun and the name of the series is I can't decide if I want to call it like shelf talk or like what's on like look at this shelf kind so essentially I'm going through my bookshelf shelf by shelf and I'm going to show you what books I have on each shelf, which books I've read, and so on and so forth. Are you ready to begin? Because I'm ready. I'm super excited. This episode I'm going to start with the one right behind me, the one that if I'm standing up in my videos you see pretty much all the time. Uh, this one has changed the most. A couple of my shelves have changed but this one has changed the most because it is the one that I put a lot of my favorite historicals on, but I have moved those around over the times. So at the moment, this is what's on it. It might change by the time the series is over, just because people keep publishing books, and also I get bored of my shelves looking the same, and I move them all around all the time. But as of the day that I filmed this, which is October 23rd, 2020. This is what this shelf looks like. So let's jump into it. All of the books on this shelf are in publication date order, except for my Julie Klassen books. In the comments below, let me know if you see how I have it separated. All right, top shelf. The first book on the shelf is The Lost Heiress by Rosanna M. White, and this is her first book in the Ladies of the Manor series, and I have not read this. The next one is The Reluctant Duchess, also by Rosanna M. White, and this is book two in the Ladies of the Manor series. Shocker, have not read it. This is book three in the Ladies of the Manor series, and it is A Lady Unrivaled, and I have not read it. Next, we have A Name Unknown by Rosanna M. White, and this is book one in her Shadows Over England series and I have not read this one. Next is A Song Unheard by Rosanna M. White, and this is book two in the Shadows of Our England series, and I have, in fact, read this one. It is a very good book. Next is An Hour Unspent, and this is book three in the Shadows of Our England series, and I have not read this one. Yes, please do not come at me. I understand that I've read the second book, but not the rest in the series. I'm trying to fix it. Next is The Number of Love by Rosanna M. White, and this is book one in the Codebreaker series, and I have read this one twice, actually. It is very good. I loved this book. It's even better the second time around. Next, I have On Wings of Devotion, which is book two in the Codebreaker series, and I have read this one, and this one makes me swoon when I think about it. It is so far my favorite of the series. Next, I have A Portrait of Loyalty by Rosanna M. White, and this is the third and final book in the Codebreaker series. And I have not read this one yet, but it will be read soon, because it has to be, because I want to read it soon. Something super fun about Rosanna's books is that these three series that I have on my shelves are actually all combined and they have intermingling characters which I think is a very very interesting tidbit of information. Now we will move to our Julie Clausen section of the shelf. Right, the first one I have is The Bridge at Bell Island and I have read this one. Next we have The Painter's Daughter by Julie Clausen and I have read this one. It was interesting. Next I have The Secret of Pembroke Park and I believe I've read this one. Um, this is always one of the ones that I, can, I can't remember if I've read it. So I will be reading it again or for the first time at some point because I just can't remember. But I'm pretty sure I've read it. Next I have The Dancing Master and I have read this one. Actually read it one and three quarters of the like times. I read it years ago, had to stop and then 
read it again, but I have read it. Next, I have The Tudor's Daughter, and I have read this one. Next, I have The Maid at Fairborn Hall, and I've read this one, and I need to do a reread because I did really, really enjoy this one. Next, I have The Girl in the Gatehouse, and I have read this one, and I should probably do a reread of it. I don't, I remember some parts of it, but not all of it but I do remember enjoying it because it's a Julie book and I love Julie. Next, I have The Silent Governess and this <laughs> is one of my all-time favorite books. I need to reread this one again because I love it so much. It's on my top five favorite books of all time, actually. Next, I have The Apothecary's Daughter and I have, in fact, read this one. Next, I have Lady of Milkweed Manor, which is Julie's debut, and I have read this one. Next, I have Lady Maybe, which is actually published with Berkeley and not with Bethany House, so it's shorter than the other books, which throws me off, but it was by Julie, so I have to have it on my shelf. Next, I have The Innkeeper of Ivy Hill, which is book one in the Tales from Ivy Hill. I have read this one. Next, I have The Ladies of Ivy Cottage, which is book two in the Tales of Ivy Hill series, and I have, in fact, read this one. Next, I have The Bride of Ivy Green, which is book three in the Tales of Ivy Hill, Tales from Ivy Hill series, and regrettably, I have not read this one yet, but I will soon. Also, all things are dropping on the shelf. In the last Julie Clausen book that I have, and which is her latest, and the last one that she's published so far until December, is An Ivy Hill Christmas, which is a Tales from Ivy Hill novella, and I have not read this one yet because I haven't finished the series yet, so I'm going to wait. But isn't it just a lovely cover? The next book I have on the shelf is Lady Jane Disappears by Joanna Davidson Politano, and I have not read this one yet. Next, I have A Rumored Fortune by Joanna Davidson Politano, and I have read this one. It was very, very good. And the last book that I have on this shelf for now is Finding Lady Enderly by Joanna Davidson Politano, and I have not read this one yet. I hope you guys enjoyed a look at my shelves, at least this one up here, and I hope you guys don't think of me as being such a terrible person because I've only read like a quarter of the books on the shelf. I'm so sorry. It only gets worse, I promise. <laughs> Anyways, let me know in the comments below if you have read any of the books on my top shelf and which one has been your favorite. Don't forget you can follow my blog at fortheloveofchristianfiction.blogspot.com and you can follow my Instagram at fortheloveofchristianfiction. All my other links are in the description box below. And I think that's it. See you guys later.